New tonight, the Hampton School Board says it will not rename Jefferson Davis Middle School or the campus at Lee. We've been telling you about the debate over the school's Confederate legacy for weeks. And turn on your sides, Erin Kelly has the latest from tonight's school board meeting. Erin, what did the board say? Well, the board voted unanimously not to go forward with that process that would have led to changing the school's names. And several of the board members said that the majority of the people they heard from didn't want the change. Stop the glorification of evil. Moments before, the Hampton School Board voted on whether or not to rename two schools named after Confederate figures. Andrew Shannon made a final plea. Remove the name. Since March, Shannon and the Southern Christian Leadership Conference have pushed for change, saying Jefferson Davis Middle and the campus at Lee are named after men who represented hatred and bigotry. Prior to the meeting, the board held two public hearings. Every person that I talked to um, did not support changing the name of the schools. Some residents at those hearings said the community needs to remember the past, even the uncomfortable parts. Others argued the division has more important things to deal with. If the community had come out resoundingly for us to move forward and do that, we would have been paneled a committee to consider names. Um, that's not what we heard from our citizens. Despite the unanimous vote against renaming, Shannon remained optimistic. Well, I feel good because of the fact that we stirred the consciousness uh, in the city of Hampton. And we, uh, we understand that, that justice may be delayed but not denied. And Shannon said that instead he thinks the school should be named after African-American Hampton Roads leaders like Dr. Mary Christian and Edna Davis. Now, according to an email obtained by 10 on your side, Hampton PTA members also voted not to rename these two schools. Live in Hampton, Aaron Kelly, 10 on your side.